Well, mine is Virgil van Dijk. What, number five? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I let don't... me tell you why. Well, I can only tell you why when I go through the uh, top okay. four. But my number five is Virgil van Dijk, Champions League winner, kept Barcelona out in the second leg. However, let's take into account the first leg where three were conceded. And Barcelona weren't particularly great in the second leg, so he didn't have a huge amount of work to do. So I'm looking at it in more forensic detail. There's no doubt Virgil van Dijk was a class act and one of the best players on the planet in 2019, mm. the calendar year. But he is my number five. Who are you picking this? Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, am I on a different planet to him? No, well, you might be. Let me tell you why. Let me explain why. Over the course of the whole season, let's not forget what Man City won, but over the course of the whole season, he got 20-plus goals for Manchester City. Three trophies with Manchester City. Remember how good he was in the FA Cup final as well? Um, he won the Copper with Brazil. He got a goal in that final. And this is the reason, actually. It's a bit of a sympathy vote, but he got a second yellow card in that final, and it was an absolute disgrace. He was cheated off the field by the Peruvian defender. There was no elbow in anybody's face, even though he went down clutching his face, and Jesus was crying in the tunnel. He was that upset at being cheated off the pitch in the final. So... For many reasons. And this is what I'm talking about. People just completely forget about the Copper America. Is it not important? I mean, this is the equivalent of our European Championships. If England won the Euros, we'd all be bigging up our own players as the best in the world. Brazil <laughs> won it. And, and yet, it hardly gets a mention. So it should get a mention. Jesus is the Brazilian number nine. I can't see a reason not to put him in there. I mean, I'm searching. Is, it, is he actually in the list? Because I haven't seen him. How does Abamian get in ahead of him? Incre absolutely incredible. It is Jesus the and not Jesus, by the way, you're picking there, yeah? Number four. What's your problem? No, I just wondered. Well, have you got a problem with it? No, no. So all the things I've just <laughs> said, which, which bit don't you agree with? <laughs> So don't worry about it. African Cup of Nations winning captain Riyad Mahrez. Uh, if you all remember his semi-final winner against Nigeria, it was an unstoppable free kick in about the 95th minute uh, that took them to the final. And just that, it's an iconic moment in Algerian uh, football history. And of course, a title winner as well, who was trusted on the last day at Brighton and came up with an absolute cracker, proving a lot of people like me wrong. So he's my number three. My number two is Messi. Your number two is? Messi. Hey, we're in agreement. 51 goals in 50 games. Don't need to say anything else. Do well, we? we don't. Only the second time in Senegal's history they've been in the final. Golden Boot winner, PFA Team of the Year, Champions League Squad of the Season, uh, African Cup of Nations Team of the Tournament. Uh, you know what? Just the reason why it had to be a Liverpool player, and I haven't really got a problem with it being uh, Van Dijk. It's all about opinions. Had to be a Liverpool player because Liverpool did so much third highest points tally in Premier League history and yes I know they didn't win it but that points tally is bigger than anything Chelsea Arsenal United ever did let's put it into perspective Champions League win as well and Liverpool great as gave us the greatest moment didn't they of 2019 which was that 4-0 turnaround yeah. against yeah. Barcelona absolutely. absolutely brilliant and the reason why Sadio Mane is my number one is because in that 4-0 turnaround against Barcelona neither Salah or Firmino played and Mane was the main man.